one owner car guy one owner car guy.com and i'm gonna have a detail coming up on this but what i've got here for you today is a really nice pontiac montana um it's in great shape actually this truck's coming up on my website too um but the montana is in great shape one of the cleanest you'll find anywhere i bought it in san diego it was a one owner montana um everything's super clean and on the way from san diego to montana it started to overheat so we shut it off and towed it home now let's say worst case head gasket my buddy asked me the other day did you flush your radiator no i didn't i just said head gasket so mechanic special this thing is cheap here comes the video it's the cleanest one you're gonna find man it's clean 1250 bucks just get it out of here mechanic special it runs but you don't want to run it too long here we go one owner car guy one owner car guy .com. and what i've got here for you today is an absolutely stunning 2003 pontiac montana and it's got the sp something sport package i'll put it all up in the title and ebay and stuff to where you can see that um, and on my website maybe i'll have it in the description and stuff but it's just a great little van it's clean as can be not only is it rare to find one of these in black it's rare to find one of these in black that's just this is an exterior review and i'm going to show you the whole outside there's just hardly a ding in it i mean this is a super straight van it's been very well maintained runs great i've hopped in it and just started driving the heck out of it and it's a good driver it's very nice looking and it pops and it's got all the new amenities all kinds of features and stuff i'll show you them in another video that'll be the interior video there'll be links to it and others down in the description below make sure to subscribe here on my channel cereal marshmallows um, there's 3,000 or so videos out there and all kinds of car reviews and such. Okay, first off, I'm going to drop down and give you 20. I like to show underneath these. This is a pretty clean little car. It's not leaking all over. I'm sure you'll find a damp gasket here or there. There's road grime and stuff, you know, underneath it. It's a California rig. Um, it's not all rusted out or decayed underneath it, as you can see. I mean, like stuff gets thrown up on it from the road and such, but underneath it just clean as can be, clean as can be. The cladding on the sides is in great shape. Uh, I'm going to do like I usually do and just start at the other side, go down it and show you the entire vehicle, okay, any dents, dings, damages and such that I see. Um, not only is the front cladding or bumper cover all in great shape, there's a couple little scuffs on it like there. But even the piece under here is not even torn off, and it's usually gone, man. These are all busted apart. These are not busted apart. It's in good shape. Little marks like this, here and there. This light's kind of foggy, and it needs to be replaced. It's 54 bucks for a set on eBay. Um, 36 to 72 for brand new. Um, it's clean as can be. There's a little bit of dust and stuff on it from sitting. Um, going down the sides, it's just straight as an arrow. I'm going to say, hey, there's a ding somewhere. In fact, there's one right there. I've been working all day. My hands are filthy. Sorry about that. It's just the way it goes. Um, missing this, which is likely, there's a little clipping for it. It's the rear wiper squirter, maybe. Pops um, in great shape. Going down the sides. Just straight as can be. Straight as can be. And the black paint is great. It's not all faded. This thing had to have been garaged. I'm just going to go ahead and say there's another ding somewhere. But I don't know where it is and I can't see it. Straight as can be. Cladding's in great shape. Little minor scuffs along the edges from opening the doors and stuff over time. And the Yokohama, the Yokohama tires on the back been replaced. They're in good shape. Um, they don't match this Hancock Optima on the front. Just kind of worn on the side and getting to be towards replacement. I'd say there's 35% tread or something. If it was a rear tighter, it'd be fine. In fact, rotating them would be just do it to it. There's all kinds of tread and even little titties left on the outside of the Yokohamas that are on the back. Alloy wheels and all. Very nice upgrade. This thing looks nice. It's a nice looking van. Um, Michelin on the front here. 
some dry rust right on the sides. It just needs two front tires, and these are probably 65-70% tread left, so a lot newer. Um, with that in mind, I'm going to show you along the back parking sensors and such. And the bumper, I don't know what years they came with them or anything, but they're in this one. A little chip there. And I'm sure you'll find a mark here or there. And there's a little mark right there. Tiny, but it's there. Um, a couple little marks in the bumper and tiny scuffs here and there. And the biggest scuff on the back is right here. And it's not worth painting anything or matching up because honestly the cladding is not even, it's not even um, faded all yet. And that cladding's a different material than the metal on the car and it usually fades quicker. Um, this one, however, like I say, not faded. Um, the lenses are good on the back. This is getting to be faded on top of this wiper, like they all get over time. 13 years old. Can you believe that? 2003 is 13 years old. A little something on the paint here. <laughs> and it comes right off. Yep. It could use a polish even. Um, really. I, I don't even, I don't see it, but little things like that would come off. Um, God, I'm sure there's a ding somewhere. I know there's one in this door. Right there. Tiny ding. Jeez. We'll come back at it and look the other way. Even the emblems. It's a great shape. I can't get pictures. Oh, it's a little scratch here. And other than that, the other thing about this, oh, a little scuff here. Light. The only other thing on this is there's some log chips. There's dust on it now, but chip, 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 tiny little rock chips on the front. I think you could buy bras for these actually. And that'd be kind of unique on the front. The honeycomb grill is in great shape. I'm sure it's fading a little bit as they do. Um, okay, going back down this side, <laughs> there's just gotta be another ding in this car. I'm not seeing it. I am not seeing it. I make daily vlogs and videos that I put up. You can find them on my channel, Serial Marshmallows. Um, different work that happens around here and such. It's straight as can be, man. There's got to be another ding somewhere. There's just got to, but I don't see it. I don't see a ding on each side. So, with that in mind, see, look at there. Little mark. Little mark. It's coming off. Literally, it just came off. So, I mean, that's what you're dealing with. Third light's a little faded. I could have redone that, but I did not. Um, glass, which is beautiful. Sure, there's not a. I mean, hang on a sec. Let me look. That came right off. That's a little chip. Oh, that's that ding I showed you. Um, I'm sure there's a little. Yeah, it's like a little chip in the glass right there. Nothing huge. Nothing spreading. A little surface chip, I guess you'd call it there. Breeder, my dog is over there. She's going crazy because I'm over here, and she can see me. Um, before I miss it crack in the dash right there. A little crack. They have that double bash. Okay. Um, I don't know if that's OnStar or what kind of star that is or auto dimming mirror or what. Hopefully I'll look into that a bit. That is pretty much your exterior review. Fog lamps and all that kind of stuff. Um, man, there ain't nothing else to really say about this car except it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, car, minivan, not a crossover, really, but it sure is sporty. Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. That is Breeder right there. I don't know if you can see her jumping. It's okay, girl! She's like, no, it's not. I love my dog. Beaglespocket.com. You can find my puppies on there. I'm trying to talk over the wind that just came up. Hope this turns out okay. Um, I gave you my number, 406 544 6919 Nathan, call me anytime. Um, I can't see anything else I'm supposed to tell you about this van, but I'll tell you what, there'll be a test drive and an interior video. And while I'm here, I may as well just take you over for a quick drive here. Uh oh. I do this. I'm so afraid of driving different cars and auto locking myself out of them. 
I always take the keys and put them in my pocket on the test drive. I don't remember what I did. Okay. This thing drives so nice. AC's nice. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah, buddy. Maybe I'll just combine the test drive with the interior video or something. This is just me back to the lot. It's peppy and snotty. Um, it's a 3400. I don't know what all options they had or what, but it's a pretty good motor and pretty powerful. That's just giving out a little juice and you're up to 35 like no thing. Hey, no thing. It's a Montana. In fact, I might take this Montana back to Montana. Montana. So, that's the deal. Nathan, oneownercarguy.com. I've got all kinds of cars. All kinds of cars. I'm going to give you a little preview here. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and drive up in my yard. There's Josh. He's been working here the last while. He's been a good help. He's actually staying here. He's in school to be an actor. So, yeah. And that, okay. Yes, they open up when you turn the key out. One of us could get out yesterday and was wondering, why does it do that? Well, it does that because... You don't have, if you don't take the key out, it stays locked up. Okay, oneownercarguy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Whatever it is, wherever you are, beautiful 2003 Pontiac Montana in great shape. Call me up. Buy this. If you're looking for a Pontiac Montana, stop it and call me. We'll talk to you. One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is an absolutely beautiful 2003 Pontiac Montana. I don't know what the last year of these was, but this is getting towards it. And I'll tell you what, it's clean. Not only is it clean, it's black. And it's hard to find one of these in black like this. This thing's clean as can be. I've already done the, uh, I've already done the exterior review. This is going to be the interior review. But I'm giving you a quick walk around this time of night to where you can get an idea in the shadows and the uh, less light to where you can see that it's not all beat to heck. It's not all stinking dented and dinged up. This is an absolutely beautiful, well-maintained. Whoever had this took care of it. And it don't seem like there was ever a kid in this car. Not that there's anything wrong with that. This car seemed to get a little more screwed up. Let's go down the side to where you can look. Look at this. Like I say, the exterior video is another one. But... <laughs> I don't want to say laser straight or like new or any of them little quotes, but holy smoke, this is as close as it gets. That's all there is to say about it. Okay, with that in mind, that's the quick walk around, I guess, if you will. Oneownercarguide.com. There'll be over 60, 80 pictures of it on there and a full, complete video. I'm going to do the test drive in this one as well. And I'm going to jump right into showing you under the hood, on the inside, and all this stuff and the options. Seats, beautiful, in great shape, hardly any wear. One of the only things in this car that is even a issue, if you will, is this piece. And I'm pretty sure there's a lumbar support there. And this handle here, the handle is stripped. And I looked them up, I found one for like, it was $14 and somebody bought it before I could get it on eBay. You can order them new for probably about 40 or so. But <laughs> carpets are beautiful. Um, couple light stains we didn't shampoo them or nothing like that it'll clean right up and look just beautiful steering wheel controls and everything Pontiacs are famous for dash is beautiful there's a small crack over there I showed you in the other video and I will show you again headliners in great shape both seats just perfect there's a little like a smudge there um, seats forward back down in the back up in the back, down in the front, up in the front. This lever works the recline, and it's at a nice height. If you actually pop the handle off and put a little wrench on it, it turns it just fine because the handle, the inside, stripped out. Really common problem with GM interior parts like that. And it's amazing, actually. That's the only thing on this, really, to talk about. A little smudges here from having that middle seat in there. I don't have the middle seat. Let's you know, again, the headliner is just in great shape. All the controls back here. Missing a knob there, which is another thing Chevys are pretty famous for on this type of thing. I'm going to go ahead and clip this down. 
drink holders, man. Never seen that. Door jams and everything. Those are the wheels. The wheels are just beautiful. Um, did I pop the hood? I sure did. Let's look in the trunk. The paint is just... Man, I've wanted one of these for a long time. And look, I got it smeared up. Because it got some hard like water from a sprinkler on it. Okay, you can flip this. We'll show it to you first. Number one, this door is automatic. And you can either just open it. It does it by itself. And clip that, put it down. These also come out. I'm going to pull in this little lever here and stuff. Back seat's in great shape. Front seats are in great The rig, the whole rig's in great shape. That's all there is to say about it. Flip this bad boy down. Flip this up for extra storage compartments and such. Just everything you want in a minivan or SUV or MPV and cheap. We're talking, look at the seal around here. Just as nice as it gets. This thing has almost no wear. Rear parking sensors, I haven't figured out how that works. Um, there might be a fuse out on it or something. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna show you in a sec. Give it a little pull, yeah. Give it a little pull and it goes on its own. Boom. Closes nice and tight. Let's get this opened up and show you under the hood. Okay. Look at this, 3400 SFI. And it's clean as can be. There's hardly anywhere on the exhaust manifold cover and everything. This is just a very, look at the hood insulation's all there. Even that piece of rubber, that's usually all gone. Usually it's gone, man. Okay, kind of a under the hood on the inside. Let me see if there is any little things here. Nothing to show over here. AC is ice cold, front and rear. Don't know if they're separate or not, but as far as the compressors or what have you. Floor mats are in great shape. And now we're gonna do a little bit of a test drive. Radio's good and works. Like I say, AC is cold, front and back. This button will open the door. There is a traction control button if you want to really get down on it and turn your traction control off. Let me turn your traction control off. What's the mileage? 97, 299. If you're buying this, look in the eBay ad because I will be the kind of person who is putting miles on this thing. Not a whole lot, but I'm gonna drive it a little bit. It's a nice, nice driving rig. And you call me the minivan king, man, because I'm loving this minivan. In, out, up, down, out, in, up, down. I've been wanting a clean Montana for a while. I found a couple. But nothing was really clean enough. Or too high a mile. Or this or that. And I found one that was actually was in great shape. It was gold. Yeah. 187,000. It looked pretty clean when I was walking up on it. I got in it, it wasn't so clean. So I'm not gonna buy something like that. I wanted a clean one. And it took me a while. I got a vibe coming too. I'm looking for a Pontiac vibe. Okay, we are in the park. Wow, there's a stop sign on that side, but not the side coming back. Maybe you'll notice that on the way back. I don't know, I noticed it just now. This is a nice area for a test drive, and I'm just up here and figured I'd move this area. Watch this. Shifts right when it should and everything. Good running car. Down shifts, up shifts. Now, this car needs a camshaft positioning sensor. And 
I gotta do that before um, I smog it if I sell it in this uh, in California. Um, or up to you if it's being shipped and you're gonna do it from your end. I am selling the car as is. Um, it's like it is. Meaning, right now, I'll show you on the way the difference here. No oncoming traffic for 500 feet. We're in. The service engine zoom light is on. And that is the code. Put my foot in it now. Just up to the speed limit though, I gotta let off. This is 45, but I'll tell you what. The downshift, the upshift, it's all here. This is a nice driving van. Uh, if you're interested in it, you can call me, Nathan, 406-544-6919 or 406-546-8748. Um, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful van. I am looking at a piece of property up here. There's some cheaper property in this area, and it was actually a church I was looking at. I don't know if the deal's going to go through or not. Different financing on commercial type places sometimes are harder. But I want something not in San Diego, not in LA. Etc. So here we are back at the park in the middle of nowhere because I just want to do a place that's out of the way. I don't want the hustle and bustle, but I want to be close to it. So, for what it's worth. Fed up. Fed up with doing the same thing, being in the same places, and worrying about the same freaking thing all the time sick of having employees that cause me issues and having I just want to do it all myself that's what I want to do okay one more thing I know I mentioned it in the previous video I think however I want to make sure I mention it here I didn't park very well left the lights on no I did mention it that little squirter is missing okay so one owner car guy one owner car guy dot com this is your 2003 Pontiac, Montana. It's in great shape. Beautiful, beautiful van. Um, if there's any questions, like I say, Nathan, 406-546-8748. Call me anytime. And other than that, oneownercarguy.com. All kinds of pictures and all that kinds of stuff on there. And that's about all I know. Let you walk around. It's underneath, it's on the outside. Check out the full exterior video on my channel and call with any questions. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, oneownercarguy.com.